I want to give you a quick introduction to how this course is going to work. Uh, right now I have uh, Blackboard open. You can see that I've got the various parts of a tax return in introduction to the uh, orientation to the tax systems and learning plan one. Then we move to the dependent exemption part of the tax return reportable income, capital gains. And we basically start on the front page of 1040 and then move all the way through to the preparer box or the refund or amount due. I'm going to go into, let's just jump into learning plan two for a second and we'll take a look at that. Um, in learning plan two, you'll see that I give you a little introduction to that section. It's a short little video. Then I refer you to a reading um, we're using the publication 4491 to, as our textbook, once again, free from the IRS as opposed to paying $150, $200 for a textbook that's outdated. And then I have these different modules. These modules are out on the Link and Learn site. Or actually, I've downloaded them and we also contain them on our NTC server. But when you click on that, it takes you out to a lesson. Now, in that lesson, it'll have a little skill test that you can take. The taxpayer's spouse being claimed as a dependency exemption. No, can never be a dependent. And Jenny married Rip in April of the tax year. Neither can be claimed as a dependent on another tax return. Both work and earn gross income for the year. They can both they claim both of their personal on a true check. Hey, I'm right. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to say take the skill test, but this is the lesson that I want you to walk through at each stage. When you click on this, this takes you out to personal exemptions. And you'll see that this is a lesson on the personal exemption. It's got a video, a little narrative. It's not hard reading. You go through and it walks you through what an exemption is, talks about the taxpayer, spouse, and throughout, they'll have little quizzes along the way, true or false, taxpayer spouse can be claimed as a dependency exemption. It's false. That's the correct answer. But if had I said true, it would say incorrect and then tell me why. So it's just a nice little way to work through um, that section. You might want to do the module before you do the reading or maybe you want to read and then do the module but I suggest you do both uh, to gain a better understanding uh, you can click on the course menu and you can see that it brings up this are is all the topics that we'll be gradually working through so I mean you can move from each different scenario to different scenario um, but I have each of these linked to each section so when you do a personal exemption module it takes you to that module uh, dependency takes you to dependency as we scroll down um, we'll get down here here's the personal and dependency exemptions practice what I'm having you do here is this is going to the 4491 W our workbook and it's having you continue to practice by starting these three tax returns and doing the information block of the tax return and tax wise. What I'm going to have you do is as we progress I'm going to have you enter more and more information into these tax returns. Now if you're comfortable with it you can go ahead and work on the tax return start to finish but otherwise as each module progresses we'll gradually enter more and more into the tax return until they're finally complete. Um, you can see it, we gradually go through and we get to the credit side and now we're starting to work on the child and dependent care credit but then you're also complete preparing the previous four tax returns and this is where you actually start finishing them and putting them in for review. You'll see that that is all the way out in learning plan seven but at any time, if you want to work forward, be my guest. If you feel they're ready to submit, submit them. And remember, a ready for review status is what I'm looking for. And you can also, if you spend a day or two and I haven't checked the status, you could send me an email and just say, hey, by the way, I've got a ready for review tax return in the queue.